What is symmetry? Symmetry is an exact match in size and the shape of an object when it is cut into two halves and the resulting halves must be identical to each other. The resulting half halves must be the mirror image of each other and the, the plane of division that is cutting these uh, the object into two halves must be passing through the center of the object. Let's start with the shape. Let's consider a sphere. If, uh, if you cut the sphere into, uh, let's say this is a sphere and we cut it by the plane of division and the resulting halves. These resulting halves are a mirror image of each other. These resulting halves are identical to each other and the, the cutting plane is passing through the center. Uh, and let's talk about the another possibility. Uh, there is possible like there is a, a triangle, isosceles triangle and we cut the isosceles triangle by the vertical plane. It will be cut only by the single plane and the resulting halves will be identical to each other. In previous case, in case of the circular shape or the spherical shape that can be cut into uh, two identical halves by more than one plane of division and in case of a triangle or a raindrop it can be cut into uh, two halves only by the single plane of division. So based on this we can divide the animals into two categories the radially symmetrical animals and the bilaterally symmetrical animals. What is radial symmetry? In, in case of radial symmetry the animal can be cut only uh, it, animal can be cut by more than one plane of division as you can see over here if this in case of shape this is the shape we can cut uh, the circle into more than into two identical halves by more than one plane of division and in case of let's if we take the example from the animals hydra can be cut into two equal identical halves by more than one plane of division jellyfish can be cut in the same way and the sea anemone these are these first three group uh, the animals they belong to the group cnidarians the cnidarians are placed in a group uh, in a grade grade radiator uh, but there are exceptional exceptionally there are some animals which are not placed in the which do not fall in the grade radiator they have the radial symmetry for example the starfish it belongs to the echinoderms but echinoderms in, in the, they have a radial symmetry uh, the starfish has radial symmetry and the second possibility is the bilateral symmetry. Bilateral symmetrical animal have only one plane of division. There is no second possibility as you can see in case of the human body there is only one plane of division. As you can see in case of planaria there is only one plane of division. There is no second possibility that it, it cannot be cut into uh, like let's say if it is cut like this and this is such plane it will not be identical. It will not be considered so plane of division so it can be cut only by the vertical plane the plane of division so such animals are considered to be the bilaterally symmetrical and uh, they are placed in a grade grade bilateria okay <coughs> the next one what is the symmetry of uh, the sponges what is the symmetry of the parazones they have no symmetry they are they cannot be cut into two equal identical house by any plane of division so such animals are not placed in either great radiata or great bilateria these animals are placed in, uh, in, in a, they, they are not symmetrically so they are not placed in the, the, these two grades they are separately considered and they are asymmetric they are the parazones they are asymmetric animals uh, as in this case there is no possibility you can you cannot have a center point the center plane this the, the center where you can cut it and there is no plane which can cut it into two equal identical so they have they do not have a definite shape that's the reason why this is so is that okay this was uh, about the symmetry now let's take a review of what we studied in the last video and uh, uh, if you have missed it uh, please there is a link in the description watch it first that will link you with this video as well animals are placed uh, animals are divided into the parazones the parazones are with the simple organization uh, the metazones with the complex organization the, uh, the parazones uh, the sponges they are asymmetric and the metazones they are divided into either uh, they are they are either radiator the radially symmetrical or bilaterally symmetrical so they are divided into two grades the grades, great radiator and the great bilateria. The nidarians 
once again they are the readily symmetrical animals and the phyla uh, that uh, phyla from from the uh, platyhelminthes uh, and all the invertebrates to the echinoderms and jacardates even they are not readily symmetrical they are bilaterally symmetrical uh, thank you so much.